The WRX is on the dyno and ready to go. It's been a while since we've had a car on the dyno. So I'm excited. I'm curious to see how much power this car can make with just a tune. The Cobb Access port is being installed as we speak. I've seen other power figures from other VBWRXs and I've got to say, I'm impressed. So let's see what happens. All right, so the plan for today is to baseline the car stock. So we're gonna go ahead and install the access port and there's an option on here to do a stage zero tune, which means it's still the stock tune, but the access port gets married so we can do all the data logging and just see how it's running when we do the baseline. Then we'll put the Cobb stage one map on there. We'll baseline that, we'll see how that does. And then we'll throw our custom stage one tune on there today and see what that looks like and compare all that. Okay, so you have 91 octane in here, which is gonna hurt the power a little bit. These cars are a bit happier on 93, but the stock baseline was 265 horsepower and 265 torque. Pretty solid, pretty smooth. I didn't actually pick up a lot of knock through the run, so it seems like it's reasonably happy on this local 91 that you have in here right now. So the Cobb Stage 191 map ended up at 274 horsepower and 296 torque. So pretty big gains from the low end through the mid range, but not all that much up on the top end. Cobb is being a bit more conservative with their OTS maps, mostly just increasing the boost a little bit. So with the ProTune, we're raising the boost a bit more. We're optimizing fuel, timing, cam timing, cam angles, all of that, and getting a lot more torque out of it and a good amount more power throughout the entire rev range. So with our custom 91 octane map on here, again, completely stock parts, we ended up at 300 horsepower and 374 torque. So real big jump in torque at the low end, and then carried some extra power all the way through out to Redline. We've been doing the 22 since they first came out, so I've got a lot of these cars tuned now, and I have to say, I am super impressed. They seem to be extremely reliable, they make power very well, and we haven't had a report of a single failure as far as an engine goes yet. And we're not even seeing very many clutch failures, so that seems to be pretty solid on these cars too. For more power from here, we're gonna do the intake test with you, and that's gonna help the top end quite a bit. We usually see as much as an extra 30, sometimes more, up to 40 horsepower with an intake on these cars. The factory intake tube, possibly the airbox as well, chokes the flow a little bit on the top end, so we can't run nearly as much boost up there. If we solve that, we can get some more top end. From there, we often do ethanol blends to pick up even more power, so that's some more testing that we'll do. We'll get this car up to some ethanol blends around E40 to 50, all the way up to full E85 on your car, which is something we've been testing and having some pretty good results with, but we'll talk about that when we do that video. As far as going beyond that, turbo upgrades are gonna be the next thing that start to become popular. Um, I'm sure people have already seen that there's ETS bolt-on turbo kits, there's people starting to test upgraded wheels, upgraded stock location turbos. Those types of things are gonna take this platform to the next level and really give us some more top end where we mostly have a lot of low end torque right now, but are a bit limited up top by the stock turbo. I think mid 400s with ethanol on these cars can be very reliable. It doesn't seem like people start running into failures until they're going way beyond that. Or if they're trying to get to those 400s using you know, really lean fueling, crazy amounts of ignition timing, then we're seeing some melted pistons, some head gasket issues, things like that. We haven't ran into that. We're not pushing these cars that hard, but that's what we've seen other tuners pushing these cars end up with for failures, generally on their own cars, not customer cars, but we have seen that too from some tuners that, you know, don't choose to play it safe for customers. But I think with proper fueling, proper mods, a good turbo, tuning things efficiently, I think this engine can do mid 400s reliably.
out on the dyno. Let's go take this thing for a rip and see how it feels. Let's probably put my seatbelt on. Guys, this feels like a completely different car. It's crazy how much of an improvement this is over stock. It always surprises me even though I've felt this countless number of times. Let's do a quick recap. So we did a baseline of 265 wheel horsepower and 265 foot-pounds of torque. Pretty standard, nothing too crazy. We installed the Cobb access port and flash there off the shelf stage one map on here and that pushed us to 274 wheel horsepower and 296 foot-pounds of torque. That's an increase of almost 10 wheel horsepower and 31 foot-pounds of torque with just an OTS map. Of course, we wanted to push it even further. So Graham worked his magic, made some a few tweaks of his own, and then we flashed a custom map on here which gave us 300 wheel horsepower and a whopping 374 foot-pounds of torque. You can feel the difference right away. This thing is gonna feel amazing out on the track, being able to pull us out of the corners. We knew the new FA24 motors in these cars had great potential, but being able to feel it and see the results on paper, the performance of the new VBs kind of just blows the previous gens out of the water. The more I continue to drive and modify this car, the more it's growing on me. I know people still don't like how it looks, but there's really no arguing with the numbers that it's putting down. That is too good. This is why I love modifying cars, guys. Being able to go through that process gradually of installing different parts and being able to see or feel the difference, there's just such a satisfying feeling that goes with that. And we really didn't even do all that much. We installed a Cobb access port and flashed a new map on there. And now we see an increase of 35 wheel horsepower and 109 foot pounds of torque. The rest of the engine and exhaust besides the axle back we have on there is completely stock, which makes me even more excited to start installing different parts on here, go back to the dyno and see how much more power we can make. Huge shout out to Cobb Tuning for working with us on this build. If you guys wanna check out what they have to offer, the link is down in the description. We're gonna be testing out a bunch more of their parts. Also shout out to Graham from Boosted Performance Tuning. He has tuned all my cars with fantastic results. If you guys need a tune, hit him up. I'll leave his Instagram down in the description. If you guys have any questions whatsoever, comment down below. I am always happy to help, but that is gonna do it for today. If you guys are enjoying the content, hit that subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.